What's up guys, it's James from Let's Play Folk. We're back with more Full Throttle. Uh, thought I had some things to do today, but apparently not yet, so we can continue. Uh, and the last one, I didn't talk much. It was a lot of uh, cutscenes. Um, Rip Burger, the bad guy, murdered the old dude and uh, framed our biker gang for it. So now the cops want me, Ben. Uh, and some trucker stole my fuel line for my bike, so I have to fix that. We're looking for Mo, uh, at her mink ranch, or her uncle's uh, ranch. So let's have a look around. Not sure what we'll find. Lots of bikes. No mementos. I'll have scars enough to remind me of this trip. Tough looking padlock. Mm. I couldn't break that lock. Need another lock pick. I, I don't have anything. Yeah, I don't have one anymore. Ooh, I'll take a tire iron. Why not? That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again, how else could she have gotten that recoil booster? That's a lot of pelts. Looks like a mink pelt. I still don't know what a mink is. But, whatever. Alright, so it looks like the door is locked, right? This place is, looks pretty abandoned and closed down. The barn's locked. Yeah, that's what I thought. I can't tire iron it, right? It's meant for nuts. Alright. Can't go this way, I don't th Oh, this might go around the back of the building. I thought that was down the road, but... I don't walk. Oh. I don't walk. Yeah, it is. Alright, so what am I missing here? Can I tire iron open this? It looks like I can. Ah, uh, junk. And a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? Wow. He installed that hose pretty quickly. Was oh, that the trucker? Stole my hose. She took my booster fuel. Urgh. Why is she running from me? She must think the whole world's against her. I think I know how that feels. That does it. He's dead. That sign. That means I'm in cavefish territory. This cargo is worthless. We have been tricked, my brothers. Back to the cave. Hmm. 
The place looks deserted. Maybe the boss was wrong and she ain't coming here. She's coming. We just got here first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. Hmm. Well, I'm glad that guy got what he deserved. I hit grab and now he's gone around. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Disappeared. Looks like Emmett dropped a load here. Can I use any of this fertilizer? What a stinking mess. Probably Maybe not. I'll just take a little. Doesn't look like I can do anything else. This is the broken bridge. Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. One of the gorge's many casualties. <laughs> One of the gorge's many casualties. Yes, it didn't work. This is the last picture ever taken of Professor Schmetterling. Notice, jumping the Poyahoga Gorge, although tempting, is highly illegal and dangerous. We recommend the recently constructed Poyahoga Gorge Bridge for transgorge travel. Drive safely. Transgorge. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Poyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the Flying Torch who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. So I guess I need to find the cave. Not on foot. The cave fish people. Because I guarantee they have the ramp. But hair in my face. I'm, I'm going to take this exit, see where it goes. Now, if I remember correctly, this is the part where I have to, like, fight a lot of people. Father Tor. I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. 
So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Father Tort, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? Any fighting tips, Tork? Ah, oh, Ben, who's tougher than you? What's up with those cave fish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. Those rot wheelers are ugly suckers. They're none too bright, either. I'm sure you can handle them. Already handled one of them. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle. It's about timing. How do the cavefish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. <laughs> kind of trippy, huh? You know any way around Cuyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? You don't like bridges? It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cavefish got his ramp in their hideout, you know. Yeah. Where Call is it. the cavefish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible unless you've got those weird cavefish specs. Can't talk anymore, Ben. Eat too many bugs. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Alright, so there's a lot of fighting on this road. Aggressive little one. Alright. So I got a chain. So at least I gotta steal a bunch of people's stuff. Oh, he's got the rebel also. I could have used a disc, Charlie. <laughs> Who else are we finding on this road? I need a booster. You like choppers, huh? How about this chopper? Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha! You're firewood, chump. Yeah! I wasn't winning against a chainsaw. So I lost my chain and my mace. So I guess I'm not supposed to use them as weapons because they just break immediately. Alright. This guy looks big. Oh, it's this guy again. Hey, it's my old friend. What's your name? Glad to see you all rehabilitate. My knuckles were starting to itch. Uh, this might be the end of the road here.
Oh, no. Never mind. Goes right over. Alright, so I gotta get that chain and that mace back. I love their rebel symbol on top. You're gonna die now. Freaking punk. Yeah, now I'm mad. I hate you. I'm just used to tire iron every time. That doesn't seem to break. This freaking guy again. Gotta find one of these cave fish people. And I'm gonna need that chain as well. Regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster you have there. Why, yes, it is. Ta da! <coughs> really wish you didn't ask him, just take it. Alright, got my chain back. Alright, so I got my chain. And I got my mace. I'm trying to think how I'm going to catch up to that boosting guy. I guess this road just loops forever. Oh, that looks like one of those cave people. Can't reach. Alright, so I guess I have to use the chain on them. It's the only thing I have that'll reach them. I'm gonna get off here real quick. I'm gonna end right here, and uh, we'll get right back into fighting all these people to get what we need in a, in the next one. Uh, not sure how long this one went, so uh, seems like a good place to end. Otherwise, I'll be fighting them forever. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you like this. If you want more things like this, let me know in the comments as well. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and donate to the charity in the link below. Thank you again everybody for watching. See ya.